And then I was like, that's not a teenager, that's my girlfriend! <laughs> Tony, why is that funny? You know, because I always date people half my age plus three. Minus seven. What on earth do you have in common with them? Nothing. I'm incredibly lonely. Now that's funny. Hulk is going to poop himself! Good morning to you too, Hulk. Wait, is, is he potty trained? I've never seen him do his business. But you've seen the rest of us? You'd be surprised at how many cameras I have in this place. Tony, I am embarrassed to be your friend. Ah, uh, thanks, best bud. Hulk can't go to toilets because Thor put hammer on seat. <laughs> The classic hammer upon the chamber pot. Oh, how you mid guardians amuse me. Why do I live with you people? It was either us or Wasp. Fair point. You know, Thor, I was meaning to ask you a few things about your hammer. Why, of course, Doc. I am more than happy to flaunt Mjolnir's electric charm. See what I did there, Hulk? Why, single Hulk out? You just seem rather simple, my friend. Hulk has PhD. Is that contagious, or...? Your hammer makes no sense. I beg your pardon? Your hammer literally makes no sense, Thor. Like, it's just plain stupid. It is magic. No, 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 no. Magic doesn't excuse you from basic physics. Everything we've called magic has just been science in disguise. Gamma rays, mutated Hulk, pin particles, manipulate massive distance, green goblins on steroids. Science explains everything. Just ask your clever girlfriend, Jane Foster. What are your rules on dating again? Half my age. Minus 700. Nat, I think we should move in with Wasp. So I don't want to hear it, all right? Very well. Speak your heresy, Stark. The old shall forgive, even if I do not. Great. Well, let's start with the obvious one. Hulk's toilet situation. Hulk should Never had Taco Bell. How much did you eat? The whole bell. So none of us can lift your hammer because it's so heavy, right? Indeed, Stark. Sweet Mjolnir is as dense as a neutron star. And do you know how dense that is? Just shy of your skull. Someone's a little sassy. 10 to the power of 17 kilograms per meter cubed. Your hammer's volume is approximately 10 to the power of negative 3, meaning its weight is 10 to the 14 kilograms. That's a 1 with 14 zeros after it. I expected no less from my favorite little divine artifact. It's insane! That thing is heavier than 100 pyramids of Giza! Ever try moving? A pyramid now? Of course not. It's a monumental task. You know, because pyramids Please are. Please don't talk to me. If dropped, it should punch a hole through the earth, not rest neatly on the floor. Air traps shouldn't be able to support it. When it's on a glass table, it should disintegrate into powder. Well, Mjolnir is very nice. You never do those things. It should have its own gravitational field. It should literally have a field 68,000 times stronger than Earth's gravity. Forget lifting it. You wouldn't even survive walking into the same room. What are you saying, Stark? Like it should be yanking us across the room to it. It should be snapping our bones, stretching our spines. Light should bend around it. I am very confused if these are praises or criticisms. Listen, Thor, your hammer's weight either doesn't exist or is ignored by gravity, which contradicts every known law of mass interaction. Well, it definitely weighs something, right, Hulk? Hulk, break arm trying to lift it. Don't you still need to go to the toilet? Hulk soiled himself. So, anyway, about that moving in with Wasp thing? Stark, you fool. To lift Mjolnir, one simply needs to be Worthy. Hate to break it to you, Thor, but inertia depends on mass, not worthiness. Like, you can't just decide when to resist motion. Well, actually, it can. Any moving object with selective inertia breaks classical mechanics. Like, if a car crashes into it, it should destroy the car. Silly stock. I would simply call Mjolnir to my hands before that happened. And how exactly are you calling it? Mind control? Telekinesis? Because I am worthy. What does that even mean? Is it scanning your soul or something? Do you have to be morally pure, selfless, humble? You have to be me. You're an angry, violent, fucking frat bro. Can't you also lift it, Roger? I'm a different man. When I'm drunk. What if someone tries lifting it with good intention, but plans to betray you later? But they are not worth. How does it know? Can it see the future? Stark, my friend, you are overcomplicating things. I simply swing my hammer and things perish. Thor, every time you throw that hammer, your arms should detach. The thing basically has infinite mass. You should be thrown back at mock speed with each toss. Nonsense. I throw it every time I want to fly. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Like you're just being pulled by your hammer's momentum. The lever force should dislocate your shoulder. How does Thor stop flying? Like space hobo. I simply break midair and reverse direction. Thor, your hammer's so heavy that the deceleration should liquefy you. And how does that even work? Your hammer has no propulsion system. I don't know, it just does. Newton's first law states that an object in motion stays in motion. You and the hammer should be flying indefinitely unless something slows you down. Psst. Who's Newton? You actually don't know? Well, sorry for being from the 1940s. How are you even able to throw that thing anyway? I have big, manly muscles. The equation for kinetic energy is half mv squared. We're talking about 10 to the 20 joules for that throw. That's equivalent to tens of thousands of nukes. I also do lots of push-ups and sit-ups, and I drink plenty of juice. Yet when you throw it, there's no shock waves, no collateral damage, nothing. How does that make sense? The hammer is magic stuff. If magic, then why bother throwing it? Shouldn't you just Wizard of Oz it through the sky? I understood that reference. 
And how does it return to you after you throw it? It knows who daddy is. It will need a gyroscope, internal navigation, obstacle detection. How does it avoid hitting people on the return journey? That's more of a you problem. It can turn around corners, go through walls, pause in midair, and never lose momentum to air resistance. It's basically an AI-controlled satellite disguised as a rock. A rock? If you were any other man, I would kill you. Hey, Thor, your hammer's a rock. A rock? If you were any other woman, I would kill you. He must really like you guys. Hulk would like to politely ask how Tiny Hammer makes boom in style. Oh, the words you're looking for is thunder, my friend. Hulk prefers onomatopoeia. A bit off topic to discuss your sexual preferences, but I can respect it. He's wondering how your hammer manipulates the weather. It makes no sense, Thor. Where's the energy store? In the hammer, of course. Where? There's no capacitor in the handle, no nothing. The average thunderstorm outputs 10 to the 15 joules of energy. That's equivalent to a small nuke. Well, you know what they say, Stark. Great things come in tiny packages. Nat, please remember those words for any future relationships we may have. Noted. It summons storms instantly in clear skies, indoors, in space, and you can shoot lightning from it? Why, of course. Where there is thunder, there is always lightning. There's no path to the ground. Stark, we've already established that I can fly. No, there's no path for the lightning to the ground. You know that's why lightning strikes, right? It forms when a negative charge builds up in the cloud and discharges into the positively charged ground. It needs separation, potential difference, a conductive path. I understood some of those words. Your hammer is stupid. How dare you? Mjolnir was forged in the heart of a dying star. Stars don't have surfaces you can stand on. They're plasma. They're stars. No, they're made from plasma. It's just ionized gas. Our sun's a star. Its core would be like 10 billion Kelvin. You'd evaporate instantly. A star is where she was forged. What kind of forge can survive being in a star? One made by dwarves. Well, hey, why didn't we call them to come help us with Thanos? If they can survive that temperature, pressure, and radiation, their bodies must be indestructible, right? This is why Gimli, best member of Fellowship. Come on, guys. It's obviously Pippin. That's the second worst take I've heard all day, Rogers. What's the worst? That me and Wasp would let you live with us. I miss Bucky. How do you even make a hammer in a star? It's like trying to make a knife in a volcano. That's good work. No, it couldn't. Lava isn't a forge. It's a chaotic, boiling mix of molten rock. You need an anvil, a hammer, and a controlled heat and cooling cycle. Not to mention the environment is toxic and fatal. Now multiply that by a thousand for your dying star crap. Your whole origin story is faker than Pepper's breast. Enough! I will stand for this slander no longer. I am the god of thunder! Yeah, about that, Thor. You're a terrible god. Excuse me? Well, like, who are you even the god of? You know, those... those people. And that's, uh cold place. Norway. Could be Sweden. Maybe Finland. Uh, what's it matter? They're all basically the same. See, this is what I mean. You don't even know who you're the god for. Do you even answer prayers? Is that the new word? I'll take that as a no. You know, you've kind of failed as a god because Norway are mostly Christian now. Yeah, they sort of forgot about you. Do they not realize I've been protecting Midgard? Well, no, because you spend most of your time in America. And space. And on that silly rainbow bridge. How does that Bifrost thing even work? Like, instant interdimensional travel would require more energy than the sun outputs in a year. What are they even aiming? I dog guards the Bifrost and can see across the universe. Do his eyes account for a relativistic drift? Because there's going to be a lot of that going on. Why he knows see Loki or dark elves when they invade Asgard? Maybe he needs glasses. Hundal <laughs> 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 be like, oh, I have eye strain. You heathenous bastard. Also, Thor, if you're a god, why do you bleed and bruise? And why do you age? Like, sure, you age slowly, but you still age. Odin give Thor power. Odin real god. Thor puny god. Is he even real? He could just be some weird alien that showed up and pretended to be Thor. We have been exposed. Abandoned mission. Dear god. Kill it with fire. Because pyramids are monuments, so it's a monumental task. Hulk flame poop at it. Odin's beard! 